welcome back to my channel and this is Sydney also known as FitSid on YouTube. If you've never been to my channel before, hi, welcome. You're about to see a bikini try on haul. I know that it is not summer. Maybe in Australia it's about to be summer, but like here in the US it's not, but I have been wanting to try these swimsuits and I just figured, you know what, let's just get them. Maybe I'll be able to wear them next summer, but it is finally getting cold. I turned my heat off so that then the noise from the heat wouldn't go onto my camera, but um, I'm gonna try these bikinis on for you and hopefully you enjoy. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys wanna follow me on my socials and just keep up with my life and like other things that I'm doing or want to give me requests of things that you wanna see on my channel, go to my Snapchat. It will be down here and my Instagram and you can just go follow those. I have a couple different accounts, but these are my main ones. So. If you're curious about all of them, you can just go to my description box down below. But today we are going to be doing a Frankie's Bikini haul. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different pieces that I'm going to be reviewing. They're either in a large or an extra large and I'm really scared to try these on because I am the thickest I've been in a very very long time like probably three years this is like the heaviest I've been but I've been working on myself and I feel like my body composition is different as well so like I'm just hoping that this stuff's gonna fit but if you're a curvy girl like me and you are wondering if this stuff's gonna look good and fit you you've come to the right place because we're gonna find out together and I'm gonna tell you my impressions my honest review these things I bought with my very own money and they're pretty expensive you guys but I really wanted to try it and make a video and show you guys. So with that being said, I have a few different kinds. I have, first I have three different like bikini sets and then I have like this set which has two tops and one bottom I'm pretty sure. Let's see, bottom, top. Oh, so I have actually two bottoms and one top for this set. And then I have, this one is a large, and then this one is a large top and an extra large bottom. And this one is extra large on these two and then a large bottom on one of them. So you're definitely going to see how these things all fit. They're all different sizes for the most part and styles. So you're going to get to see like maybe one will fit me better than another. But yeah, so getting into my sizing, I do want to make clear that I'm going to try these on and show you as I talk about my review. So um, I'm going to just tell you my sizes, jump off cam, and then try them on, film that part, and then uh, formulate my opinion and then get back on camera, talk to you about it, and then I'll put me trying it on over me talking about it so you can see how it actually looks, if that makes sense. So with that being said, I am 5'9", 226 pounds currently at this moment, and I'm kind of bloated because I'm on my period right now, so if that also helps, just know that I'm a little bloated. And then um, my chest size is a 36 triple D or a 36 F, depending on the day and how my boobs are feeling. And then, um, but I'm always a 36 triple D, so if you have bigger chests like me, then keep in mind when you are watching this that these will probably fit you very similarly and my opinion on these will probably help you a lot with making your decision. Um, yeah, so I am also a size 16 in jeans, so I have a very um, hanging stomach. You'll probably see that in the try on portion. So I always look for bottoms that are gonna be more flattering. So if you struggle with those things too, hopefully this helps. I have stretch marks, I've been through weight loss, weight gain, and eating real good, eating not so good. So this is a great review for someone that's done those similar things and you're a thick chick like me. So anyways, I'm going to hop off camera now and I'm gonna try these on and I'm gonna come back with my personal opinion and uh, let you know what I think. All right, you guys, so I am back. I have tried everything on. As you can tell, I actually left this top on because I thought it was way cuter than what I was wearing earlier. It's a swimsuit top. And now we're gonna get into it. So I guess I'm gonna start with the green that I'm wearing right now and then we'll do the, the solid color and then the other color. So 
First of all, I want to say this is a Frankie's Bikinis review. I got only extra large and large and I went into it with a very open mindset. I really tried to find things that would flatter my body, you know? Like I wasn't sure like what the fabric was going to feel like. So I guess the first thing I want to say is like it is definitely a swimsuit material. It feels really nice though. It's not too thick, not too thin. Um, the sleeves are thinner and then this is actually double... Um, double fabric so I really like that about that because I feel like the sleeves are able to be movable a lot so I like the quality of it I feel like all of the stuff has extremely good quality um I was really surprised by the feeling of the fabric itself for all of these um but yeah so I would like to say this this piece that I'm wearing right now is probably my favorite out of all of the things that I got this one is gonna get a 9 out of 10 the reason it doesn't get a 10 out of 10 is just because I know that like with this piece, I'm going to get the worst hand lines ever. I probably would not actually wear this if I'm going to be in the sun because it's just going to give me like a farmer's tan. And if I'm going to get a bikini, I personally would not want this one. But it is really amazing quality. It holds the girls up. And as you guys know, I have a pretty big, saggy, natural chest. So <laughs> they're not going to sit all the way up here. So the fact that this has support is awesome. And then I love the fact that this string, you can pull it and make it tighter or not. And um, I really like that. This is an extra large. So I did get an XL in this top. And then I've picked out two different bottoms. So this top is called the Ryan Top in Tide. So this is the green tide color. It's an XL and um, that is what the tag looks like when I go to buy it. So I do like it. It says, due to the nature of the tie-dye pattern, no two bikinis will be the same. All items should be washed inside out in cold water, gentle cycle or by hand. So when it comes to washing, you're gonna have to remember not to just throw it in with all your other stuff. Um, just be careful about that, but it is tie-dye and I really like this I think this is probably the most flattering out of all of them uh, just for myself and Then I got two bottoms. So the first pair of bottoms that I got I actually got this in another color and I'll explain why I like these better than the other one So I really like the tie-dye pattern. I feel like it takes away from if you're feeling self-conscious and stuff and it fits and it hides like if you want to have it up on your stomach line you can this is an XL this is meant to be cheeky and I like it that way I think it is a very um, flattering piece it's comfortable it the fabric is double like double-sided I guess um I guess that's how I'm gonna explain it so there's two pieces rather than just one tiny piece I really like that because it shows the quality in it they all come with the glorious sticker strips which I love and then I just really like the pattern overall I feel like it's a very flattering color the patterns are cool I love the fact that it's tie-dye um, this one's an XL and it fits very well so if you're looking I would not say large I would <laughs> before we even get into this actually a lot of these are a large because they don't sell it in XL that I think is one of the biggest downfalls of the company the site because this makes your booty look good this is an XL. If I were to get this in a large, I would look like a stuffed sausage. I barely can fit into this and want to go out in public. So if you're wondering, like definitely do XL um, if you are around my size. So that one is a very good one for the booty. Now this one is called the Tasha Bottom in Tide. So obviously the Tide is the color and then it's called the Tasha Bottom. And this is how it came, just like this. This isn't a large. So I feel like if I would have had an extra large, it might have been good. But also the style is just not that flattering for my body type because I do have a stomach. I definitely think it was cute. Um, I feel like they should have it in XL. But I think that because the sides are adjustable and tieable, it is a really good piece to have. I also really like the fact that this can be bunched up because then you can make it more like a thong and I know that a lot of people are like what are you talking about but that's a trend right now and I see that all the time with Instagram models and I know that for me personally like I am not an Instagram model you guys so um I just I just know that like if I'm trying to appeal to the Instagram model community this would probably be a really awesome bottom for it and it would still be cute and you can pull it out around your parents and scrunch it up like a little thong and pull it up your butt when you're around your friends. So I really like this one. I think it's a very good piece. Um, I would give this an, uh, a 
7 out of 10 because of the size. If they didn't, if they were to carry XL, it'd probably be a lot better, but I don't think they do. A lot of their swimsuit bottoms don't. Some of their tops don't either, so it's just kind of hit or miss. Um, if they were to do that, it would probably get an 8 out of 10, but I do like this, and I do like being able to have access to something that is so versatile, um, and if I didn't have a belly, it would be very attractive. So, it's still attractive. I'm not trying to hate on myself, but it just, you know, it's, this one is definitely more flattering to my body type. This one's more Instagram model. So, now let's go into this color. So this is a solid color, and I'm actually a huge fan of the fabric, the material. It's a, it's different. It's silky. It feels really good. This is also double fabric. It is, I'm pretty sure, the, oh, it's not. I thought these two were the same, but they're not. And now that makes sense. Um, because I thought they were the same. But the that one's the Ryan bottom, the green one. This one is the Nick bottom. See that? I just learned something new. So this one I think is flattering. I also think it's not that flattering. I think the fabric's different, and that's why it's harder for me to work with. I would wonder... Um, if it would get stretchy it's really stretchy so I wonder if it were to get wet if it would be a problem um, it fit me very well I just don't know how I feel about like I think it needed like a thicker strap or something but I mean this is one of the styles so I tried this I liked it you can see how it looks on me the fabric is very soft so if you're someone that wants some super soft bikinis that are comfortable this one's awesome and then I got this in a large top and this one is called the all top and it's in a large and there's the color right under it b l j and i like this top a lot only thing i would say definitely not going to support your girls so if you are looking for a top that is going to hold the girls up and you don't have perky boobs this is not the top for you as long as you're fine with having your boobs hang and just sit with the fabric then you'll be okay the other thing that I would say is like the back when I was wearing it was like this so like it was all the way like high up on my back and then my boobs kind of just held it in with like the bottom part which looks like this so you can kind of see so you can see what it looks like on me right here I would rate this one probably an 8 out of 10 I really like it I think the fabric is very soft which is going to cause some problems um, but when it gets wet, I feel like it would be a perfect piece. So I'm excited to wear this and try it out and just see like what would happen if it were wet just because the way the fabric is. Um, it's a very silky soft one. So, you know, if you have natural boobs and you're, you know, trying to do anything remotely active at all. And I'm saying like if you want to lift your arms, it might fall out the bottom. So that's why I just bring this up because this is really cute, you know. But don't go to the water park wearing this one, okay? Um... And then, let's see. Yep, it's in a size large. It just says hand wash cold. So that is that one. Now we're going to get into the last. And that is the Tide, but it's blue. So these are tie-dye in blue. So first things first, I want to say. This is the Tasha top. Looks like this. I got it in a large because they don't have extra large. Do I think I need an extra large? No. Do I think I should have tied it tighter? Probably, but there's a reason I made it loose was because I wanted to show you like what it would look like if I was wearing it comfortably. If I wanted the girls to be perkier, I would definitely have to play around with it a lot more. Um, and I know it's not, like it's a basic triangle top, so it's something that like I've worn plenty of times. Um, I love this color, and I'm really, really disappointed because the bottoms are so cute but they don't have it in XL and I think they should have it in XL and XXL because of the style. So this one's a large 8 out of 10, you know, it's like a pretty basic top. I think you could probably buy it other places for cheaper. This stuff's pretty expensive. Some of the stuff I feel like is worth it. Like this top is just really pretty and unique. Um, the bottoms I feel like were just basic with matching it but there are other ones I just picked them as sets like that so these bottoms I was I tried these on first out of everything and I was really disappointed in these because they are large okay but as someone who is bigger I would definitely buy these in 
all of the colors if they sold it in XXL, okay? Because this one I feel like runs a little small and I feel like if it were just a little bit bigger and I bought it in a size bigger than what I would be, then it would be able to be over my stomach. Because if you see this V at the top, it is meant to just sit on your body like that. I am not someone who is thin. I will not be able to fit something like that. So it sat on my hips. So here's the front, like, like that. Because there's that little V that I don't know if you can see, but like, you know, you see that divot? You have to make sure that your bikini line is like 110% groomed. Um, as someone who gets waxed, like you have to wait three weeks to get your waxing appointment. So this one would probably be like not the most ideal because you have to let the hair grow to get it waxed back out. So I personally love this, but they would have to have like more sizes in order for me to buy it. I am not someone that looks that big. I don't look like a double X. There's a lot of people out there that would be able to fit this and I think that they need to expand on their sizes just slightly. They have a pink tie dye as well and it's so cute but they didn't have my size. So I think one of the big things that I would say is like um, this one would probably be a 10 out of 10 bottom if they had it in XXL, honestly. It's really cute. Um, these are more for looks, the little scrunch. It doesn't really do anything on this one but because it is like a one size fits all like kind of like there's no adjustments on it like you can't mess with it very much you'd have to get the right size the first time so this one's called the reed bottom and it's in just the blue tie-dye so when you go on their site you can find it but yeah like i feel like a large would fit a lot of people that i know it just wouldn't fit me and my body type and anyone that's bigger than me i feel like it wouldn't fit um and if you have a tummy like me i would not recommend this one because it literally hangs out if you have a tummy i would recommend this one over the others but honestly I'm very picky with swimsuits so it's kind of hard because I want to buy something and spend my money on things that are worth it and I feel like if they had it if they had this read one in a double x I would be the first person to buy it but because their sizing is not that great I have it in a large if I lose weight eventually I could probably use it but um if you're on a budget I would highly recommend to do your research, figure out which one's gonna work for you because if you're buying it online, like, it's such a struggle and I feel like the bottoms are very finicky and I feel like the solid color, this one, you definitely wanna be aware of the fact that it's really silky and nice and good, it feels great, but, you know, if you have perky boobs, it'll be a really good fit for you. If you have saggier ones like mine, then the back will be up higher, so you just wanna think about that. The tie-dye, um, all the tie-dye stuff seems to feel like it's all the same material and it says that it is 83% nylon, 17% spandex for the tie-dye. Let's see if the reed is also the same because it's tie-dye. Yep. And then this one says that the fabric is 85% nylon and 15% spandex. So that 2% makes a really big difference. So if you're looking into it, just know the tie-dye does feel a little bit thicker. It's less soft, but it feels really good at the same time. This top is very flattering. So I am going to say this top is something that I would pack on vacation, but I would not wear it to the beach or in the sun because I just feel like it would be like I would get a farmer's tan. With that being said, though, I definitely plan on wearing all of these if I can. The bottoms that do not fit me, maybe eventually I'll be able to lose weight and wear them. But I do think that this is a pretty expensive brand, so if you are not able to afford it, there are other alternatives. If you are someone that is trying to find something that's going to work, do not settle on sizing down because this stuff is not going to be flattering. It's not going to look cute. So do your actual size. If you're watching this and you're like, I'm definitely an XL, like don't buy something in a large because you're not going to feel comfortable in it, honestly, because it's going to snug you like a little caterpillar and then suck you in and then give you those love handles and like... It's just not going to hug you in the right places. So if I could rate, my favorite would be this top. Second favorite would be this top. And then third favorite would be this top. I really love this pattern. I just wish they had it in um, maybe some different styles. I'm not really sure. But I love the color. They just didn't have a lot in XL. So when it comes to bottoms, I really love um, the reed bottoms if they were two sizes up. That would be my number one. And then the Tasha bottom, which actually does go with 
this. So there, there are sets that you can buy. Um, I definitely do not fit the larges the way that I want to, as you can see on the video, but the extra larges seem to be much more fitting. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Um, if you don't follow me on social media, click the links in the description down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, babes.